What's up, people? What's up? What's up? Well, what's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe, and I know I haven't did a video in a while, but you see all these. You see, I know you see all these celebrities now: David Spade, Rick Williams, Seth MacFarlane, Ice T, Ice Cube, uh, and all these all these celebrities flashing by. You probably say, "What? Well, well, what the hell does they got to do with your video?" What they got to do with my video is, because it's been sitting on my fucking mind for the longest, where I'm starting to notice that in the black community, like, in the black community, they starting to throw the word Tom, Uncle Tom around. They said, well, Uncle Tom's not a word. Well, it's like an insult. <clears throat> it's like insults to black folks. It's like black folks. It's like saying you're a punk ass. But it stings even harder. But, like, I heard, like, Spike Lee calls Tyler Perry a sellout because he does the, he does the Medea movies. And you never hear white, I ain't trying to diss white people, but you never hear this shit going on in the white community about their movies. You never do. You hardly ever do. But in the black community, you always hear somebody bitching about one movie and it's in the black community. It's one, it's gotta, it's gotta be one, it's gotta be a group of black people that's bitching out to other set of black people saying, you're fucking, you're Uncle Tom, you this and that. Spike Lee sit up here, <coughs> Spike Lee sit up here, call Tyler Perry a fucking sellout but he sat up here and made a movie in black and white about a photographer, a model, whatever. This guy AIDS to fuck three dudes. But he bitches about Tyler Perry. Now, Spike Lee, you need to shut your shit up because you don't know what the hell you're talking about when you say, oh, Tyler Perry just shut up because, because he does the play about a uh, uh, grandma that you got a gun. What? There's a, I know a lot of black families that has a grandmother like that that smokes weed and carries a weapon. It's starting to spill over into the white, uh, white community, but he bitches about how Tyler Perry is a sellout, but you got Dick Gregory, and you got Paul, no, not Dick Gregory, Gregory, but you got fucking Paul Moody, Paul Moody now calling him a fucking sellout calling him a sellout. The reason, the reason why Paul Moody called Spike Lee a sellout is because he did that movie, The Original Kings of Comedy. And Paul's like, what the hell does that got to do with it? anything? What it is, you got to think about it. Paul Moody's been in the business before Spike Lee ever thought about doing, video, doing movies about the black community and what they got to go through. Uh, what racism uh, black women with AIDS that like to sleep around. Uh, black trumpet players getting their ass beat in the fucking alley. But Paul Moody calls his ass out and says he's an Uncle Tom because the original kings of comedy was Richard Pryor, Robert Harris, Robert Harrison, and Red Fox. That was the original Kings of Comedy. Now, why is Spike? Now it's funny how Paul Moody calls Tom, uh, calls Spike Lee Uncle Tom, but Spike Lee calls Tyler Perry Uncle Tom. Why is that? It's just getting getting on my nerves where <clears throat> people people like Spike Lee portray portray and does this movie about the black man and the black woman the black man and the black woman and he don't see nothing but he rather criticize people like Tyler Perry because they think they're stupid he thinks people like Tyler Perry are stupid retarding all this shit I said that man's got more money than your ass do spite but your bitch ass is complaining about him being a sellout him being an Uncle Tom now I ain't never seen Spike Lee run up on Whoopi saying, oh, you're a sellout Whoopi sitting up there with them white women. I don't see him going up to Vin, uh, 
Vent Reigns saying, oh, you're a sellout for doing Rosewood. Or you're a sellout because you did, uh, now, now I pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Or you don't run up on and say, oh, you're a sellout because you played a gay man, a gay black man that's a cross-dresser. He ain't never run up in Vince Big Reigns on that. You, you never hear that. He ain't never wrote up on fucking Denzel Washington. Spike never wrote up his good friend Denzel Washington and told him in his face, you're a fucking sellout for doing the great debate. Oh, you're a fucking sellout for doing uh, doing training day. Never did. He never wrote up on him. He never wrote up on his other good friend, Wesley Snipes, when he did the Blade movies. Brooklyn's Finest. Nothing. Two One Fool. He ain't never wrote up on Wesley and said, Well, you're a sellout for being a cross dresser in a movie. Never did. You ain't never heard Spike tell his friends they're a sellout, but he has the audacity to call. Tyler Perry sell out. Why is it because Tyler Perry is making more money than more money than you? Is it because Tyler Perry is more famous than you? Motherfucker, you ain't did a movie since the last time you did a movie was a fucking Kings of Comedy. That was it. He ain't I, he ain't never run up on Ice Cube and told him, "Oh, you're a fucking sellout because you did all the Fridays movies." He ain't never rolled up on Ice T. Oh, you a sellout because you did a song called Fuck the Police. But you turn around and you pay a police on TV. He ain't never heard. You ain't never heard him say it to these people. All these people, all these black, great black people, actors, entertainers, and he has the audacity to call him a sellout. It's getting to a point where why do black people even do movies anymore or get on TV or entertain the people anymore? Because all we gonna all they're gonna do is bitch and complain and call each other sellouts for certain movies they do. But they when it comes to their fucking friends they don't wanna say the same damn thing. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> if he sits up here if if Spike Lee sits up here and his good friends Wesley Snipe and Denzel Washington do a movie by do do, do a movie just like Vic Rains did Rosewood did something like Rosewood he'll kiss the ass oh let Tyler Perry Dick Gregory Paul <clears throat> Paul Moody do the same kind of movie he rather say you're a fucking Uncle Tom that's that's messed up why is he going around calling every black entertainment? Even Oprah does this shit. Why? Now think about this. Why do you think that Oprah never invited Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, Ice T, any of these rappers? Because she thinks they're a sellout. But it's funny that you let some skinheads on your show, but you won't let rappers on your show? Oprah, you'll fucking sell out yourself. You're sell out yourself, Oprah. And I'm sitting up here watching. <clears throat> I'm sitting up here watching all this. Now, now he got. <clears throat> now I'll tell you this. Now Dick Gregory, I watch his videos on YouTube. And I'm watching what he says. Dick Gregory calls calls out fucking uh, calls out Cedric Entertainer. Even Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton did this. Comes out, Cedric the Entertainer say, "How can you sit there and say Martin Luther King was a hoe? And how could you say Rosa Parks wanted to see her big black ass down, her time big black ass down?" He calling then he calls they both of them calling him a sellout, not Dick Gregory. They, Dick Gregory, uh, Dick Gregory. Jesse Jackson, Reverend Al Sharpton is calling Cedric the Entertainer a sellout. You see what I'm saying? That word is going to is going through all the black community, not like on the real world, but in the entertainment business. In 
the black entertainment business, that word has been tossed a lot towards certain people, but the right people. You tossed into the certain people, but not the right people. And you and like I said, white folks, you don't hear this. I like white. I I do enjoy watching white people's movies. Look, I love Ghostbusters. That's my one and two. That's my favorite fucking movie. Star Wars. Love Star Wars. Y'all could tell because I always have wiki pictures up. Love the shit out of Star Wars. I love the Birdcage. Oh, they, I love the Birdcage. You can say, oh, that's a gay movie. I love it because Robin Williams and Nathan Lane are funny as shit. Funny as hell. That's the only reason why I watch it. I didn't care that it was playing gay part as long as I got a fucking laugh out of it. But you never see, you never see, you never see them bitch and complain about certain movies you never do you just got pissed off parents say well I don't think they should be watching this movie see how it is you never see Spike Lee run up to John Singleton and say you're a sellout for doing boys in the hood you never do you never you never see him run up to Cuban Jr. Cuban, Cuban Gooden Jr. and say you're a sellout for doing boat trips uh, the boat you where two guys got mistaken on a cruise that didn't know they was a gay cruise. But it, you never it, see them. What, see what I mean? It's gotten to a point that the black entertainment business has gotten to a point where they're making the black entertainment look stupid. Then you got all these other people that well, black black pe people need to stand up. And be brave and hold their head, hold their heads held high. But you got motherfuckers like Spike Lee and others throwing that fucking Uncle Tom word all over the damn place. I watched the movie. No, I watched the movie that Spike Lee did. It's called Bamboozle. I really like that movie, Bamboozle. The reason why is because it touched a spot in my heart because I understood it well enough. What he did, the movie was about black folks putting on black faces. You remember back in the day, black and black and uh, where black folks couldn't get big roles or nothing like that. They're gonna have certain other roles. A Jewish man, I think a Jewish man, painted his face black, painted his face black, and got good money off of it. When the years went by, the in segregation dropped in. That was a no-no. Funny people couldn't do black faces. And he was showing Spike Lee was showing the world black feet, black people need to stop wearing black faces and making yourself look stupid for the white man. But your dumb ass is throwing that Uncle Tom word around like it was bullshit, like you was, like you was slinging dope. You throwing it all over the place. I love. I tell you, I love watching the Zombie Land, kick-ass movie. And and I, I get so pissed off about it. I know there's some black folks that get pissed off, and some white folks that get pissed off. I know white folks are gonna question this. Like, why do why do black people throw the word Uncle Tom around in the black entertainment business? Cause it got to a point where they're so full of bullshit, horse shit every other kind of shit there is every other part uh, every because they're getting they're getting jealous they're getting greedy like some celebrities like black celebrities you don't see that but now you're starting to see a lot of them coming out oh that's a sellout that's a sellout I don't cause I don't see Whoopi Goldberg as a sellout because she did her movies. She did hella five great work. When she was in Ghost with Patrick Swayze. Uh, I love I love the Friday's movies. I watched Law and Order SVU with Ice Ice T in it. I do watch the Big Bang Theory. I'm proud to say that. But it's gotten to a point with this that in the entertainment business we're destroying ourselves. No that's how it is. Not well. I'm half black, so that's that's how it is. We're just the 
black community, the black entertainment business is destroying itself because they're so focused on who's got all the money, who's making good movies, who's doing this, who's doing that. That's all that goes on in the black entertainment business. We get, like, look at BET. I don't even watch BET no more because it got to a point where what's the use of watching BET? I thought it was Black Star Entertainment. When did it become a mockery on that damn network? Because it's getting stupid. I'm going to say this one. I'm going to say this because it'll probably be another video. Networks need to wake up. MTV, Music TV. Why do you have fucking reality shows if your fucking logo is MTV Music Television? I did not know the Jersey Shore was music. I did not know road, road rules and real world was fucking music. How the fuck did that fit in place in MTV uh, music television? How did it fit in music television? It doesn't. Like Afro Man did a song called Whack Ass Rappers. And why does MTV play these stupid shit? Something like that. And why does True TV have bullshit, bullshit shows like Pawn Shop, Pawn Wars, whatever wars? I thought True TV was about crime, about criminals, about arresting people. You hardly ever see all these networks are putting bullshit on it. All these networks are putting up this bullshit about like I, I don't want to turn on true TV and watch some dumbass motherfucker trying to put trying to go do these gladiators bullshit and that's how it is but uh like I said man it's just the black community the black entertainment business needs to wake up cause all we doing all y'all doing is bullshit and fighting over something so petty because y'all cause certain black celebrities making more money and like I said you never hear white commute the white entertainment do this shit either you don't hear it from them you don't hear you don't hear Seth MacFarlane saying well Seth Green you're a sellout you're an Uncle Tom you don't hear you don't hear Johnny Depp saying saying Corey Feldman is a sellout because he did the Goonies you don't hear that but you hear it in the black entertainment business why the fuck did we see that this is what y'all wasting so much fucking time calling each other Uncle Tom's and sellouts and all this and that because they making more money and making better movies than y'all is. That y'all don't understand that y'all fighting for the fucking wrong damn thing. Wake up black entertainment. If y'all act that way, we don't need no BET. We don't need no black network. If the black community, the black entertainment business keeps on doing what it's doing we don't need black entertainment television because I'm tired of sitting up here watching black Amer uh, black TV black TV acting like fucking fools because the next motherfuckers line in line is making more money calling them sellouts and Uncle Tom's because they make better movies than you you ain't never heard Morgan Freeman or Samuel Jackson calling each other sellouts and Uncle Tom's. You don't. These motherfuckers better grow up and grow up now. This has been Afro Joe telling like the T.I. is. Tell me what you think, you know. Comment or video response. If you don't like it, kiss my ass and move the fuck on. Don't say nothing if you don't like it. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wicked. Peace, love y'all, and chicken grease. <laughs>